So this is gonna be one of my unprofessional opinion um, episodes, I guess you could say. I just came across this deer bed right here. And I basically wanna show you what um, it is that deer think about. So for this particular spot, you literally, I know this sounds crazy, but like if you really want to figure deer out, you have to like get in their head and kind of think, okay, if I was a deer and I was on the food chain, you know, a prey species, how would I survive? So bedding, essentially, you literally get in the bed, do what they would do, get down to their level, because obviously they're shorter than us. Um, and so when I first got in here, I was kind of looking around to see, okay, what kind of secures the fact that this is a bed. So first thing I noticed, which let me flip this around. It's a little dark. Let's see if I can. Okay. So if you look really closely, you can notice that there are pieces We'll focus. I don't know if we will here. Hang on. Anyway. I don't know why it's not focusing. I'm still trying to figure this camera out. Okay, take two. You'll notice that there are pieces that are broken off or bent. And then if you come over here... Guys, I don't know why it's not focusing. <laughs> Focus, there we go. Okay. Um, where is it? Okay, so right here, this little stick. 
This focus deal is just gonna be a pain in my butt. Hello. Okay. Anyway, right here. This is what I want to focus. This stick is bent or broken right here. Like it was chewed on. A lot of these pieces are broke, which obviously that's natural for grass and stuff. But this right here, you guys can see it was broken and it wasn't like anything I broke. Um, but then you also have to think, okay, so if I was a deer, what am I, what am I going to be seeing? So we're gonna focus this back. Okay, so laying here, there's a trail right there. You can see the whole way up that line, this tree line here. You can look out across all this in the fields. All this, you can see behind me. You can see I'm being filmed. <laughs> the road's right here, you can see that. I mean, it's very open, but you also have this big cedar here. But being in this grass, it's easy to hear stuff. So being a deer, this would be seriously an ideal place to just bed down. Um, you know, maybe not all the time, but for certain situations. Um, I have thorns all up in me. Ouch. Maybe not all the time, but, you know, certain times, you know, if you're just trying to be cautious, I mean... I'm not a deer expert, but I'm slowly figuring them out. So anyway, this is just this one like scenario that didn't come out right. This, the, 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 this is just one scenario of a bed that I found. So I figured it would be a good opportunity to talk about it. Um, kind of discuss my thoughts on it. And I don't know, it's just one more piece to the puzzle that I like to figure out with deer. So. Um, anyway, this is a this is a piece that I've been looking at to potentially hunt in Kansas and You know, there's not a ton of sign, but there is good sign that's here. Not a lot of it is fresh or from this year, but There's potential so it's a maybe um, If I don't find anything else then yeah, um, I would definitely consider hunting here. So anyway, that is my unprofessional opinion on this particular deer bed and why this, this deer decided to lay here. Um, so yeah, until next time. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really hope you liked the video. Feel free to thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, let me know what you thought. Um, and subscribe if you'd like to keep up with everything that I'm doing and feel free to follow my Facebook and Instagram pages as well. Those are more of a day-to-day -day aspect of my life. And then YouTube kind of wraps up everything um, once I get enough content. So whatever you're wanting to see, feel free to follow. And thanks for checking in and see you in the next video.